Car Pro Test Drive with Jerry Reynolds. This week we're taking a look at the 2018 Audi Allroad, a station wagon that is based on the platform of the popular Audi A4. I think this vehicle is aimed at people who do not want an SUV, are looking for good mileage, but need extra cargo space. The all-road answers this call. Although a station wagon, make no mistake, this vehicle is a capable off-roader with Audi's terrific Quattro all-wheel drive system. The Quattro system can proactively switch between front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive, giving the vehicle the torque the road conditions require. Empowering the Quattro system is a two-liter four-cylinder turbocharged engine, putting out 252 horses and 273 pound-feet of torque. The all-road comes with a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. The all-road comes in three trim levels, the Premium, the Premium Plus, and the top-of-the-line Prestige package, which is what I have today. Audi is known for nice interiors, and the all-road has a nice yet understated interior. The seats are soft and comfortable, but the dash has too much plastic for me and lacks the heavy stitching you typically see these days. The cargo area has 24.2 cubic feet, and if you fold the back seat down, it goes up to 58.5 cubic feet. Leg room and headroom are ample. The gauge cluster is incredible. Everything is controlled from the steering wheel and is easy to understand. The cluster is 12.3 inches, extremely colorful, and you can display a navigation map as a background. You can make the speedometer and tachometer smaller for a better view of the map. The center console is well done with a couple of cup holders, the gear shifter, a knob for sound volume, and a large round dial for the 8.3 inch Audi multimedia interface screen. The system is super easy to operate and is where you control the vehicle settings, sound, radio, media, and telephone Bluetooth. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto come standard. One cool thing on the console are eight radio preset buttons that if you lightly touch, the screen shows you which station you're selecting. Just above the console is where you choose your drive modes, turn off the start-stop system, turn off the parking sensors if desired, hill descent control activation, and you can turn the screen off. Audi Drive Select modes allow you to choose from a selection of five driving modes, off-road, comfort, auto, dynamic, and individual. You can feel a marked difference between the various modes. My tester is fully loaded with standard features, including LED running lights and rear turn signals, low speed brake assistance, leather seats with power controls, panoramic sunroof, keyless entry, and power tailgate. Options wise, the Prestige package runs $8,500, but it includes a lot of content. Most notable is a head up display, LED headlights, active lane assist, adaptive cruise control, traffic sign recognition, a 360 degree camera, and a 19-speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system. This one has the $1,450 warm weather package, which is cooled front seats with power lumbar, and the $650 cold weather package, which is heated rear seats and heated steering wheel. Fuel economy ratings are 22 in town and 30 on the highway, and the total MSRP is $56,650, and to be honest, that seems really high to me. If you're into station wagons, and I'm not, this one drives well. The handling is actually really good. It has a good ground clearance, and if you want to go off-road, it'll do it. Thanks for riding along with us today for another Car Pro Test Drive. If you'd like a new Audi in your driveway, just find the nearest Car Pro certified Audi dealer near you at carprousa.com under certified dealers. CarPro. Find your certified used or new car or truck at a CarPro dealer.